All right, guys, let's go ahead and do some testing here. This is going to be ADT SafeWatch Pro 3000EN System Test 2. So keypad here, obviously tel you have your telco fault and uh, disarmed chime head star for faults. Um, I'm still missing some resistors for it, but I'll eventually get around to finding some for it and for my fire guard panel. Over here for initiating devices, I have my CPG MMPS. This is uh, hooked up to the fire zone, which is zone one. Right here is my GE 103-22 pull station. It's hooked up to zone eight, which is one of the burglary zones. Right here I have the Simplex life alarm speaker 2902-9732 is set to one fourth watt. And then there's the settings on my pile amp amplifier. Uh, auxiliary volumes a little bit under 10%. Treble is at zero. The bass is at negative 10. And we're using the auxiliary end port here. Um, and the siren driver is inside the panel. So let's go ahead and do some testing here. Obviously, we can start out here with the fire zone because you don't need to bypass anything for it, uh, and it can't be bypassed anyway. So, activating the fire zone in three, two, one. Fire! Fire! Ring! Ring immediately! As you can see with the keypad, it doesn't say disarmed chime, press star for faults, or it does, and it doesn't say anything and press star for faults. It just says telco fault and fire zero one. Basically, when you see the disarmed chime message, that essentially says, hey, the system's kind of normal. Or if you see disarmed bypass or just disarmed ready to arm, Fire. that means the system's normal. So, let's go ahead and um, reset the pull here. And then we'll go ahead and clear out the fire trouble. Fire! Fire! Ring! Ring immediately! And obviously, as you can see, because we're using the combo trigger input for the siren driver, it does take a little while for it on the fire message to um, die out. So anyway, um, I'll go ahead and pause the video here and I'll clear out our faults and we can test out burglary message. Okay, now as you can see, it says disarmed, bypass, ready to arm, and telco fault, of course. Um, as I said before, this pull station is zone 8, which is a, one of the burglary zones, and it has a resistor on it. I placed a resistor on it, so the system says ready now. Let's go ahead and pull it. Now you can see that ready to arm changed to hit star for faults. If we hit star, we get fault 08. That's because we didn't arm the system yet. And when you don't arm the system and a device faults, um, basically you get what you could consider as like a trouble condition. Because zone 8 is now faulted. So if say if this was like a motion sensor, that would basically mean that it's being tripped. Somebody is walking in the area of said motion detector or the motion detector may need to be replaced. And then if we go ahead and I'll go ahead and reset it here, we reset it, system goes back to normal. We get the telco fault and disarmed bypass ready to arm. Go ahead and arm it here. 
It says, armed away, you may exit now. We've got our exit delay here. Um, it's still set to the same exit delay as in System Test 1. I don't think I'm ever going to change the exit delay because I kind of like it like that. And because I want it to look as, um, as professional as possible. And professional way requires you to have certain settings for the system to be UL listed for burglary and fire use. Alright, now you can see we're all armed. It's Elko Fault, but it says armed to stay. It says armed to stay because we have some zones bypassed. Um, so yeah, if we were to arm it to stay, it would still say zone bypassed once it's fully armed. Armed away, obviously, goes to armed to stay because some of the zones are faulted, or they have been bypassed. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and activate this pull station here. And here, beeping here, uh, that means disarm system or alarm occurs. So we're gonna, I'm not going to disarm the system here. I'm just going to reset the pull station. Now it's basically saying, hey, you better come now and, I'll, and disarm this or I'm going to go into alarm and you're going to be mad. And we'll just let it go into alarm. Now it's on the alarm. Go ahead and turn this off here. Now, um, as you heard, though, the burglar alarm cut out right away. Uh, that's because we were applying a steady voltage through the burglar alarm input. So, now we're back to the quote-unquote normal. Disarm chime, hit star for faults, and your telco fault. Um, I'll go ahead and pause it again here, and I'll uh, bypass all of these, and I'll change the tone inside on the siren driver, and we can listen to the other tone. Okay, so now we're back to disarmed, bypass, ready to arm. I changed the tone on the siren driver inside. So this time we're going to go ahead and arm it to instant which you have a little um, exit delay. I'll give it about 30 seconds here. Um, armed instant, what, it do what that does is it takes away the, uh, the entry delay before an alarm condition occurs. Um, I don't understand. I haven't quite figured out, like, why you would want to do, like, arm to instant. Um, unless if it was, unless if you were at, like, a bank, and this, say, the system was designed for, like, a bank vault, then I could kind of understand. Um, so now we're all armed. It says armed instant zone bypassed. Let's go ahead and activate this. this. 
And we're all back to normal now. So that is Tyco slash ADT SafeWatch Pro 3000EN System Test 2 and the test of the Elk 110 Siren Driver. Rate, comment, like, subscribe. You know the drill. And I will see you guys later.